a guy came to me. He said that he went to a guru and this guru gave him a mantra. That mantra did not work. He went to another guru. We gave another mantra and that also did not work. He told me that it's not that the mantra did not work for him. It did not work for the gurus, the first one and the second one as well, including himself. He said, these gurus who gave me the mantra are still in poverty, full of diseases and without relationship. They are miserable too. The question is, does the mantra work or not? The mantras do work, but the problem is no one knows or most people don't know how to use it. If you are irritated and keep the mantras in your head with no commitment, no enjoyment, the mantra will never work. You will perhaps have a headache and you will have a coffee or go smoke a cigarette. But that's what's happening in most cases. So how to do the mantra in the right way? The right way is you say the mantra and you don't have to expect for results, whether it is a money result or health result or relationship. And these results will happen or may not even happen. But the results should come right there when you are reciting this mantra. Namah Shivaya. Namah Shivaya. Namo Narayanaya. Namo Narayanaya. As you chant this with great love and enjoyment, it will work. But if you are thinking of when the 108 time will be over, you will be irritated. Now, how can you know or how do you know that you are going to enjoy? Of course, you can fake saying Namah Shiva, I am enjoying it. Even if you fake, it will work. But the most important thing is the mantra has to be chanted in synchrony with your breath. You should not be breathing at all. You should completely stop breathing. When you stop breathing, it's not that you will die. Breathing will become only internal. What's happening is when you are breathing, you, are, you don't even know that you are losing your life energy. Through breathing, you are losing life energy. That is a truth unfortunately, very unpleasant truth. You breathe and then you are losing your prana. How? You breathe in, they have a calculation of eight inches. And when you breathe out, you breathe 12 inches. Where is the four inches come from when you breathe out? That is the prana inside. That is in the bank, in your soul bank. And unfortunately, every time you breathe out, that four inches is getting out of your system. So you are breathing out, you lose four inches, and that is the problem. What you should do, don't think about eight inches, 12 inches, and four inches loss. Just think, focus attention on the breath, and it will slow down by itself. And along with the chanting of this mantra, Namah Shivaya, when they are together, then you will see that you are in a different state of consciousness. Not only you are losing the four inches, but you also you are in bliss. And then you can do Namah Shivaya, Brzee, Brzee, Brzee. When you are saying Brzee, you are not focusing attention on the breath, but the breath by itself will become subtle and you won't lose the four inches. And that is how you should do. But unfortunately, not many people do that way. And that is the problem. God bless.